Will climate change create new oceans? The Earth's climate is changing, and with it, the very geography of our planet. Rising global temperatures are causing glaciers and ice sheets to melt at an alarming rate. This influx of fresh water into the ocean is not just raising sea levels, it's fundamentally altering ocean dynamics. We often think of sea level rise as a uniform phenomenon, but the reality is far more complex. Some regions are experiencing significantly greater increases than others. This uneven distribution could lead to the formation of new bodies of water, effectively creating new oceans. The Arctic is ground zero for climate change. The rapid melting of Arctic sea ice and the Greenland ice sheet is dramatically changing the landscape. Coastal erosion is accelerating and low-lying areas are being inundated. As ice retreats, new waterways are opening up. These newly formed bodies of water, once hidden beneath ice, are becoming navigable seas. The Northwest Passage, once a mythical shortcut, is now a reality for part of the year. Beneath the Antarctic and Greenland ice sheets lie vast networks of subglacial lakes. As the ice melts from above, these lakes are expanding and merging. This process could eventually lead to the formation of large inland seas. Furthermore, the weight of the ice has depressed the land beneath it. As the ice melts, the land will rebound, but in some areas it may not rebound quickly enough to prevent the formation of new coastal features and even entirely new bodies of water. The creation of new oceans and seas has profound implications. It will reshape coastlines, alter ecosystems, and impact human populations. We need to understand these changes to mitigate their effects. These changes also present new challenges for international law and resource management. Who controls these new waterways? How do we protect the fragile ecosystems that will emerge? These are questions we must address urgently. The future of our planet depends on it.